Welcome to Trico. I'm Falguni Whedon, welcoming you to Trico's 15th edition. Falguni Whedon, welcome to Trico's 15th edition. I'm delighted to be joined here today by Professor Malik. Professor, if I can just ask you to briefly introduce yourself. Well, good afternoon, and it's really nice to be here. My name is Fazila Malik, and I'm the head of department at National Heart Foundation Hospital and Research Institute in the Department of Cardiology. I'm an interventional cardiologist. Thank you again for joining us. We are really excited about Trico in its 15th edition. We've seen some extremely complex and exciting cases this morning. What are your thoughts on what we've seen so far? Well, that's it. That's why one should come to Trico, especially someone who's uh, starting their career in interventional cardiology, because you get to see these fascinating life cases mm -hmm. that challenge your intellect and the discussion's brilliant, you know, because in Trico you get world-class faculty yes. and everyone's interactive and it feels like you're almost there in the cat lab mm. with the team who's doing the case mm. and you can ask questions, they give you answers and then there's a depth in the learning. Mm. You really get to, yeah. you know, get, get yourself engaged in the case. Yes. That's what I love about Trico. Yes. And if you had some advice for the young cardiologists who were either in the audience today, who were, or potentially looking online just now with us, what sort of advice could you give those cardiologists coming through the ranks? Well, actually, you know, today during lunch, I talked to quite a few junior cardiologists from Bangladesh. Well, uh, I'm from Bangladesh, yes. Uh, yes, and so 75 junior doctors have come, and this is the impact that uh, Trico has had in the field of intervention in Bangladesh. Any aspiring interventional cardiologist in Bangladesh will and would come to Trico at least once or maybe multiple times in his lifetime because that's the kind of impact Trico has for us in Bangladesh. And I was talking to them and everyone was so excited. They were saying they really loved the cases, mm -hmm. they enjoyed, they learned such a lot. And that's my advice. You should definitely, definitely come. And, and actually, I don't really have to say all the interventional cardiologists in Bangladesh are aware of mm -hmm. that fact, that this is a true learning experience. Mm -hmm. And we're so delighted to have them here and participating so greatly within within Trico, Trico yes. going from strength to strength. It is, it, it is. is. I mean, I've been, this is one of the most favorite conferences that I, I really love the ambience, the crowd, mm. the positive, you know, mm -hmm. the positivity of yeah, the conference, sure. right? Yeah. And uh, Dr. Tejesh Patel, he's got this drive and this, you know, yes. energy yes. that sort of transmits to the entire crowd. Yes. Today, just now I he heard this brilliant lecture on OCT that he just delivered, mm -hmm. and I w wish I could have a hard copy of that because you know it's it's layers and layers and layers of knowledge. Yes. So that's it. So everyone should really come here and you know enjoy the experience. Yes. And if we were going to say, if you could have uh, some influence into what Trico might look into next, into what it might present to its audience next, audience next. Are there any areas you think that Trico should be covering in the future? Well, actually, you know, Trico is sort of run by a visionary. That's what I think Dr. Tejesh Patel is. And uh, I say this in all honesty, like when people were skeptical about radial, he yes. came up with the Trico, yes. right? Now, radial is mainstream. Yes. And now he's sort of, you know, he wants to explore. He's an explorer mm -hmm. as well. So now he's exploring like structural, mm -hmm. robotics, yes. and imaging. Yes. And of these, I think, yes, imaging will definitely, in the near future, 
even now it has a huge impact mm. and in the near future I predict that you know imaging is really going to become huge that's what I feel yeah. right and robotics yes it's really in its starting and it's something very exciting mm. and I'm just waiting to see how it unfolds robotics and, and with robotics obviously apex were the first um, institute globally. And I think they, globally they're the most experienced. They've they done are, more than yeah, 500 more cases, than 500. which is amazing. It's huge and more than 500 in just two years. Um, more recently, the publication in The Lancet following the telerobotic procedures they did. Yeah, that, that, five was, that was like a miracle, right? You, you would, you would see something like that in science fiction yes. and that's what they went and did. Exactly. And do you think that can transform um, people living in rural communities, health care I mean, that's it's, not it's, currently available the, to them. The, uh, the potential of such a procedure, it's mm. like mind-boggling. Mm. Your mind can't even comprehend what you can do. Yes. Like imagine sitting here mm -hmm. and treating someone in some remote, remote yes. corner of the world yes. even. You just have to have internet access yes. and you have to have the facilities over there yes. and here and you can you can do this miracle, right? Yes, exactly. It's like miracle healing. Yes. I'm excited about it. And we're so excited to have you here. Professor Malik, thank you so much for joining us thank at Trico. Thank you, it was a pleasure.